Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a tempered glass screen protector for your iPad 11 or 12.9 Pro. This is the 2020 version, so let's check it out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a flawless installation of a tempered glass screen protector from SuperShield for the iPad Pro, and this will work for the iPad 11 or 12.9. So let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now before doing the install of the tempered glass screen protector from Super Shields, let's take a look at some of the features we have here. So first of all, it's going to be anti-fingerprint. So it's not going to absorb as many fingerprints or show as many fingerprints as the standard glass has on your iPad. It's going to be clear, it's real glass, it's going to not sacrifice in sensitivity, and it's going to give you some protection. And it also has uh, this coating that's going to keep um, smudges, grease, a lot of the stuff that happens in day-to-day -day usage away from your iPad. So let's check and see what's in the box. Now the neat thing about this kit is that it does come with two protectors. So with each protector, you get your glass protector and you get a microfiber towel as well as installation kit. What I like about this is that over time, if you do crack your screen protector, you have two and it's going to be really easy to replace. Now I've had screen protectors on my iPads since I've had iPads and I've used Super Shields for a very long time. They're extremely durable and to crack one of these, you really would have to hit it pretty hard and it's going to really deflect the impact of anything hitting your screen. I've never ruined an iPad screen because I've always had the screen protector. So let's take a look at all these uh, pieces and I'll show you how I install mine. Now before installing our tempered glass screen protector, we're going to wipe down the screen. So I'm going to take out this alcohol prep wipe and we're going to wipe down the screen. Now even if this is a brand new iPad, you want to wipe it down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then just get everything really good. Make sure you get all the corners. And if you've been using one, it's important to do this because this is going to remove any kind of oils, anything that's gonna prevent the adhesive from working. And then I'm gonna take the microfiber towel and I'm gonna go over it. And then this is just gonna remove you know, any kind of smudges. Um, I would say it almost polishes your surface. Now as we're doing this, a couple things that you'll want to make sure. You have no central air, no central heat, no fans going. You don't want to have anything moving around in your room because if you do, you're going to pick up some type of dust particle underneath your screen. So once everything looks good, um, and I think it does, I'm going to bring over my glass protector and just inspect that. So next, we're going to install our glass screen protector. So here I have my screen protector. You can see how it looks right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start with this tab right here. I'm going to pull this off, right? And let me make sure I have it in the right place. Yeah. I'm going to flip this around like this, and I'm going to pull it this way. And as I pull it this way, I'm going to first align it on top, and I'm going to work my way down. So watch how I do it. Now one tip, as you're installing the screen protector, make sure you don't pull. So if you have to adjust it, you have to readjust it, raise it from the screen and then replace it. If you pull, the adhesive that's on the screen is going to come up and then you'll have some bubbles. So again, if you have to replace it because the alignment is off, lift up, do not pull forward or back to try to adjust it. Lift it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screen protector film, remove a portion of it, not all of it, and flip it just like this. And then I'm going to start from the very top, my alignment. And I'm really looking to make sure that everything aligns nicely, and I'm going to work with, with the corners first. It's really important for me to have things straight. I'm kind of really particular as I look at this stuff. So you're not going to see my full iPad. You're just going to see the area that I'm working on first. So what I'm doing is looking at my alignment, and then because I have the plastic... Um, still available, and you, I'm going to bring this back into sight. You'll notice how I have it right here. It's going to give me the ability to really work on my alignment. And what I like to do is I like to lift and I like to align just to make sure that it's like exactly where I want it. So I'll run my fingers here on the side like this just to make sure that this feels like it's straight, and then I'll do the same thing right here, and I will inspect this a couple of times to make sure that there isn't anything there. Now, once I'm happy with the alignment, what I'll do is I'll put one finger here, and then I'll start removing the plastic that I have on the bottom this way, and then the glass will rest. All right, so I think I'm satisfied with my alignment. You can see that things look really good right there. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start peeling back the actual film. And as I'm pulling it back, you'll notice how the screen protector is already starting to stick. You notice how there's two tones here. This is darker and this is lighter. It's because this area has already um, sat on top of the glass. So I'm just going to, be, going to review my screen by running my fingers through the side like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this side right here and pull the rest of the plastic out. Now, once I remove removed all the plastic, I'm still not going to rust it because you notice how it's already starting to stick. I'm checking my corners because I want to make sure that my corners are nice. 
and checking this side and this side and I'm going to just watch how this is working I'm going to let it go down you can notice how it's starting to close or at least a adhesive is going in you can see how it's doing this and you notice that there's no specs right so I'm checking this out and things look good so far you can see that on screen I think the alignment I'm happy with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go now and you can see how it's going to go all the way through and it's going to seal boom done so you notice key here is your alignment making sure you have the right alignment once you have that alignment and again you're using your fingers on the side like this um, it goes down and it's pretty straightforward so let's power it up and see what it looks like now with the iPad starting up let's take a look at how the install looks so I'm going to put it here in an angle for a second and you'll notice how things are here nicely aligned, which is going to be important because as I put a case on this, I want to make sure that the case itself uh, doesn't really butt up against the glass. All the way around, everything is nice and spot on. And let me go ahead and log into it. All right. And again, this is a new iPad, so everything is responsive. There's no impact with clarity. And again, this is going to be a case-friendly screen protector. So that's all it takes. So let me know what you thought about that install, how easy it is. And I'd love to hear from you in the comment area below.